So we're going to walk through the steps of transcription and translation to kind of see how this actually works for amino acids to be connected with each other in order to form a protein. So for, before we begin, um, we've got a ribosome here on the whiteboard, and all of this is taking place inside the cytoplasm. So all of this is taking place inside the cytoplasm. And to start with, we've got a sequence. This yellow chain here is a chain of messenger RNA. And each one of these three nucleotides, so for example, we have adenine, uracil, and guanine, that's our first codon on the messenger RNA. And so these three nucleotides together represent a codon on a messenger RNA. And so our first messenger RNA uh, gets to the ribosome. And matched to that is a blue little puzzle piece here. And that represents the transfer RNA. And the transfer RNA is, uh, has three nucleotides as well. This one's uracil, adenine, and cytosine. And we call that the anticodon. And it's the opposite or the complementary to the messenger RNA. So transfer RNA is anticodon. Messenger RNA is uh, the codon. And so the amino, uh, the messenger RNA strand kind of moves through the ribosome. And I'm going to move this one here. And so then our next messenger RNA moves into the ribosome. These all stay together, but they're magnets, and so they're kind of be pulled apart. And so our next ribosome is, or our next messenger RNA is in the ribosome, and it's going to match up with the next transfer RNA molecule. And those are just floating around in the cytoplasm. And as we talked about in the notes, attached to this transfer RNA is an amino acid, and that's represented by the pink uh, little puzzle piece here. And so this amino, hap amino acid happens to be uh, proline. And so this matches up. You can see that the anticodon of the transfer RNA matches up with the codon of the messenger RNA, and the amino acid is attached to the transfer RNA. And so this one moves through the ribosome, and the process repeats itself with the next messenger RNA. And so our next, mess, uh, next transfer RNA is as glycine attached to it. And so what we start to see happening is the messenger RNA and transfer RNA continue to move through the ribosome, but the amino acids actually are connected together and they start to shift outside of the ribosome. So we're going to see these amino acids bonded together, or connecting together, and they're going to form this long chain of amino acids that once put together and folded actually make the protein. Move this one out of the way. And so then this, this messenger RNA strand just keeps moving through the ribosome. Our anticodon for the transfer RNA, codon for the messenger RNA, amino acid attached. This is going to kind of shift out of the ribosome. These will move down, and our next one moves in. And this process continues until we get to something that's called a stop codon. And the stop codon is a transfer RNA um, anticodon that basically tells the ribosome to stop the process. And so once the ribosome gets to the stop codon, it stops connecting amino acids together, and that's the end of our production cycle. That's basically the end of the factory, or it's the, it's the signal to stop. And so then we have this chain of amino acids, the transfer RNA and tRNA molecules go back into the cytoplasm and they're reused by the cell. But we have this chain of amino acids. It leaves the ribosome and it gets folded into its correct shape and then it goes and does whatever it needs to in the cell. And that is transcription and translation and the formation of a protein.